Amendment 2024. Your tax dollars are on the line when it comes to one of the amendments on the ballot. As West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox explains, a yes vote on Amendment 6 would do away with public financing of political campaigns. A lot of voters may be surprised to read Amendment 6 on their ballots. It's titled Repeal of Public Campaign Finance Requirement. Since voters approved a 1998 amendment, taxpayers have been footing the bill for millions of dollars in political campaign spending. Two years ago, the governor and cabinet race candidates raised enough money to get more than $13 million in matching funds. It's just a wash with money and that, you know, does it really make sense and does it really work? You know, UCF political expert Dr. Aubrey Jewett says if voters believe public financing of campaigns evens the playing field to help more people compete with better funded candidates, they should vote no on Amendment 6. Let's look at the governor's race in 2022. Ron DeSantis received $7.3 million in matching funds, Charlie Crist $3.9 million, and Nikki Freed almost $945,000. But their political committees that can raise money without limits raise tens of millions of dollars more. The same was true of Ashley Moody's campaign for attorney general and the chief financial officer race won by Jimmy Petronas. Moody received nearly $300,000 in matching funds. Daniel Ufelder received about $177,000. But Moody also raised $2 million on her own. Patronus had also raised more than a million dollars, but received nearly $222,000 in public money, which far outweighed the matching funds received by Adam Hattersley. Like some of the harshest critics will just say it's welfare for politicians. Why should tax dollars be going to these politicians who are just going to use your money to run nasty ads you know, that you may or may not disagree with? And they should be able to fund their own campaigns. The League of Women Voters provides a voter guide for all of the amendments. You should definitely take a look at that. And on Amendment 6, public financing of campaigns, they're a hard no. They think it should remain. Greg Fox, West 2 News.